Haskell functions can be grouped into modules. A module is somewhere between a class and a package in Java. There are a number of built-in modules. We can also define our own. Most of this chapter is a brief tour of several modules. The data.list module contains many functions dealing with lists. Data.care deals with characters. Data.map and data.set provide types like the tree map and tree set classes from Java's java.util package. A brief example is provided for each function mentioned in this tour, so we won't go over all of them here. We will talk about how to load and create modules and where to find out more about them. When we first start up GHCI, it automatically imports the prelude module as indicated by the prompt. The prelude module contains all of the stuff that we almost always want, so it's like the java.lang package in Java. To load additional modules directly in GHCI, use colon m plus and then the names of one or more modules. One useful function in the data.list module is find. It's similar to the first that function we wrote in the previous video, but it has a different way of handling the case where nothing in the list satisfies the function. If find finds something, it returns just that thing. It doesn't look for more than one. If it doesn't find anything, it returns nothing. In other words, maybe it returns a value. That's what the type signature says. We'll learn more about maybe in the next chapter. In a file, we can import a module with an import statement. Let's go back to tic-tac-toe. We'll import data.list and the additional module data.maybe. We need the second one for the function from just, which extracts the value wrapped in a just. Now we don't need first that, and winner is slightly shorter. For details on importing just some functions from a module, or dealing with multiple modules that define the same names, see the chapter. Of course, we can also define our own modules. For example, argmax and replace are general purpose functions, not specific to tic-tac-toe, so it makes sense to put them in a module. Any functions we list here are exported by the module, that is, available to anyone who imports the module. In Java or C++ terms, they are public. We could define additional functions that we don't export, which would be like private methods in Java or C++. Notice that we've changed our definition of replace to use split at. It would be worth your time to puzzle out how that works. Now, when we import our utilities module into the tic-tac-toe program, it's even prettier. If you want a more detailed reference, try haskell.org. You can browse the libraries by clicking on Library Documentation. Alternately, you can use Hoogl to search for a particular function, by name or even by type. It's almost certainly not worth your effort to memorize all of the functions provided in these modules. Just use them to solve problems, and the helpful ones will stick with you.